everybody, this is Robert with Mold3D. Today we're going to be going over cleaning up your 3D print. So to get started, I use these black clippers to remove supports uh, in general. They're a great tool for that. Um, I often use a sanding block. It's basically a piece of wood with sandpaper for flattening out areas. Um, I use an X-Acto blade for uh, shaving off uh, little t contact points where the um, supports are. Um, a foam sanding block for polishing off layer lines. I use this uh, gray surface primer for uh, priming the surface so I can visually see where I need to clean up. And then um, I use these two uh, nail files. Uh, basically, they come in kind of different uh, roughnesses. And then I use a paint cap to usually place my model on top um, for painting. And so here I'm going to just give this uh, model that we have uh, that we got from our 3D printing workshop. And I'm giving, giving it a quick primer. And uh, this allows me to really see those details pop. You can see them just kind of come through in the video. And so after that, um, now I can really get a good judgment on which areas I need to uh, clean up first. So you can see um, kind of like under the, underneath the chin there and then uh, on the horns and um, let's see on the back here. Yeah, the back of the horns is pretty clearly there's a there's it's basically where all the supports were that held the model in place. Um, but sometimes it's really hard to see even with uh, gray resins or especially white resin. So um, I usually start off taking my uh, nail file or a, um, an X-Acto blade to sort of pop these guys uh, off. And uh, what that does is um, it sort of, they sort of chip off rather than um, uh, uh, like shaving away any kind of important surface detail. So they just kind of pop off and you want to kind of use the tip of the razor blade to um, get in there and, and, and pop those little guys off. So this is usually the first step I take with any uh, 3D print that I have, is I just carefully uh, go through and uh, shave these guys off. Using the very tip of the razor blade, uh, I can really get in there and make sure that I'm only affecting the areas uh, needed. Um, so after I go through this step, I usually take the uh, foam sanding block and give it a pass, and that's what you see here. And then um, let's give it another primer, and we can kind of see like what's happening to the surface. So um, I try to be light-handed with the the the, the primer, and um, this is kind of the first step I take, and it's a sort of a trial and error, and you kind of repeat. So you can see I missed a little areas here, here, and here, um, but you can see the very center of the back is coming out nicely so far. So hopefully that gets you kickstarted into uh, cleaning up your 3D print. Definitely join us on uh, Twitter and Facebook at Mold3D and uh, be sure to subscribe to our newsletter for more updates and video and definitely like and comment on the video below if you want to see more. Thanks guys.